Hello everyone, this is Galaxy Wars bringing you part 3 of Let's Play Sonic Adventures. I'm Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog. On the way of, on the way to Tails' workshop, I was confronted by that evil Eggman. He stole the chaos and called for that liquid monster, the one man stationed square. It transformed when Eggman gave it the Chaos Zone. He's planning to make that monster super strong using all the Chaos Zones. I can't allow that, Eggman. I'll collect and protect all the Chaos Zones. Let's start by searching in Mystic Ruins. There's your recap. Each part will have one from here on out unless I start a new story. So then, if you remember right on what we did with Tails' story last time, we found the key right here. Guess what? It's in the exact same place. In everyone's story. So, that's where you'll find the windstone. Well, let's place it where it belongs. And now we enter Windy Valley for Sonic, which is a very different one from Tails. Get the Chaos Symbol. Sonic's stages are far longer than any of the other characters' stages as well. Yeah, my first death of the game. Okay, I highly recommend don't get that thing. It's just not worth it. I can't ever seem to be able to get it without dying most of the time. It's ridiculous, it really is. Anyways, moving on. You only need two bounces to reach this area. Now if you hurry, you can get over the gate and jump and get a life. Then just go over here and we get sucked up by a tornado. Usually that's really bad. Head straight up. You should be able to get out of the tornado. But uh, apparently not this case. Jump on panel number one. It will take you to panels two and three. Jump as soon as you land on a panel or else you'll fall. What the heck? There we go. You need three bounces to reach this one. Whee! Up we go. Now, this might look familiar. Yes, the final part of Sonic's story is the tail stage, basically. So now that there's no longer any flying, let's see what this stage really is supposed to be like. No shortcuts or anything, and please don't go to the cop now on me, camera. Use the rocket here. As you can see, it's not much different from Tails. Ah, I have a heck of a time getting there. This part is a tendency to knock rings at you, so be careful. Don't go being glitchy. Crazy game. Camera can be weird sometimes. Fun fact, I'm not sure if a lot of people know about this, but with the second player, you can actually play as Tails in Sonic's story whenever Tails shows up. Such as in this case. It's pretty much like it is in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Tails can collect rings for you, defeat enemies, and you don't have to worry about them getting hurt. 
Yes. So it's kind of cool. Oh, Tails, get out of my shot. Unbelievable. And why the heck is he freaking out like that? And he's floating! Yeah, not bad. Right. Okay. I don't really know what to say to that. The train headed for Station Square will be departing soon. A big gust of wind inside me. Hmm, guess I'll call it Windy Cave. Genius. Okay, I should show you this, uh, though. Each of the adventure fields also has something pretty clever. See over there? That is an egg. A silver egg for the Chow Gone. You wait for it to float over to you and you grab it and take it to the Chow Gone. You can hatch into a silver Chow. Each one of the adventure fields has one of these kind of eggs hidden. May as well show them all. That's the silver egg from Windy Valley. Um, from Windy Valley. Mystic Ruins. Go to Station Square. You may find something. Okay, you may be wondering about this area. This means absolutely nothing right now. Jump in if you want to die, but I'm sure most people don't. That will come into play later. You'll see what I mean. Okay, back to Station Square. And it's sunset. Hey, it's Sonic! Is it true you saved the entire world? What's happening with Angel Island? You look at sail every night. The lights are really pretty at night. Now, as you can see, unlike Tails, it's not nighttime yet. It's sunset. That's because Sonic has something he needs to do. Somewhere in the city where you can go down into the sewer. Yes, that. Wow, it's so much bigger than my hometown. Talk about culture shock. Oops. Yeah, he's the button to talk to people, but. It comes to the adventure. When we leave home, you never know where we'll be back. It's why the Mystic Moon's looking for old reds. They need them. Thing is, sometimes you can accidentally do a spin dash, so you gotta watch for that. Mail covers open. We have to listen to everything that people say. It's a tough job to work at City Hall. Oh, it's here for me. It's just a statue in front of the burger shop. I hear it goes on trips sometimes, though. Yeah. Anyways, this manhole covers where you're supposed to go, but I want to do a little spooling first. What's up with that girl? She's been standing all day just staring at a burger shop. This girl, in case you're wondering. My heart's breaking. That would be enough just to stare at him from a distance. I can't go on like this. I'd love to get to know the burger shop guy. I hope he doesn't mean this thing. <laughs> Here, now you've met him. Sheesh. That is the weirdest thing ever, that thing right there. Here right now, I feel like somebody's staring. What can it be? Oh, it's this guy. Anyways, there's an emblem in here. Kind of cleverly hidden. No, not really. Oh, she's Now, this is something you need. You need for a little something else. Over here. Oh, come on in. I saw you find a monster. I hate to think what would have happened this time if you were here. You feel safe when you're here. Now you see this? This is the gold egg for the child gone. But, if you take it, 
Ya ain't leaving. Or are you? Take this stone, put it here. Voila. But since I'm not going to chow garns, I have no need for that. But I figured I may as well show it off. So you go down here. Up here. And here's our first upgrade for Sonic. Mandatory. Now you've got light speed shoes. Press and hold the action button to store up power. Once you have enough power, release the button and you can do the light speed dash. The light speed dash lets you race toward rings at light speed. As long as there's a trail of rings, you can go just about anywhere. Geez, think that was a long enough description? Sheesh. Use the light dash to run along the paths of rings. Hold the action button and let go when you have enough power. Like that? Easy enough. Hey, don't use the back door. Bad. Now, as you can see, we have it at night. Well, I'm not sure about this, but I heard rumor the casino has a new pinball machine. It's called Nights into Dreams. I want to play too. Nights into Dreams. Hmm. That's cool, but the casino office sounds fun too. Well, I just can't decide where to go first. Chow is so cute. I can say yes, because he doesn't know what to lobby. He's so sweet. Don't worry, you'll get to see Chow. I'm going down. I hate the stars. Oh my gosh. That's messed up. Don't tell me if you want to do anything. By the way, check out the door on the left if you want to go to the casino. Take your time and enjoy yourself. Now, before we go to the casino, I want to show another upgrade that you can get right away. Go up here. And light speed dash, and then hurry through the door. And you get this. Optional, but quite helpful. This is the crystal ring. This reduces the time needed to store power for the light speed dash. Quite helpful, I must say. The casino. So let's enter the casino then, shall we? The train headed for the Mystic Ruins will be departing soon. Wow, my mom wanted to see how bad it's come out yet. Really? Would that be her? Wow, we are meant to be music, so this is the casino everyone's been talking about. Mm -hmm. Oh, I that switch was outside. Always get the urge to test things like that. See what, this is open, but the only way it is closed. Sorry. That makes no sense! The casino's open, but the only way in is closed. Ready? Anyways, you need the light speed dash to hit this button. Now, welcome to Casinopolis. Sonic's third stage. Get the Chaos Emerald. Or your wings in the vault. Try to save at least four wings in the vault. Now, this is an interesting stage, this one. What you need to do is play pinball. Slot pinball, of course, ahead. Use that in order to move flippers, match three pitchers, same bow, and shoot the ball towards the air. If you miss three times, you return its hall. However, if you have less than 100 rings, you will get dumped in garbage. That is a pretty cool thing. Anyways, this is the slot pinball course. Now, I really don't get the physics on this thing. I really don't. Sonic moves very odd, so don't be surprised if weird things happen. You can move the control stick to tilt the 
arena like so, or make it shake basically, but there really is no reason to do that. Besides, I'm pretty sure like most pinball machines, if you do that too much, you probably have uh, your flippers die on you, and it basically says tilt, I guess. That's what happens in most pinball machines. I think this one isn't much different. Now I'd like to get this slot thing working. There we go. Press the A button to stop the slots. Bring 3K. Now depending on where you get, you may have this timer show up. I guess that's supposed to net you more rings if you go in there. Kind of like I just did. Not entirely sure. Now it doesn't have to be lined up straight. It can be lined up diagonally. It could be any of the three pictures as you saw earlier. Basically, sky's the limit. You can line it up any way you want. Of course, you want to avoid Eggman, like in Sonic 2. I'm pretty sure this thing looks similar to that. Ah, bring 3K again. Um, Tails has a kickback, which is practically useless because it doesn't... Because it only stops you from going down the center, but if you fall down one of those side areas, it does absolutely nothing. So, a lot of good that does. Um, Sonic... I think he gives you a lot of rings. I think maybe... On the other hand, it could be giving you an extra life. I'm not sure. If anyone knows, can you... Please post all the stuff that happens when you get each of these things. Uh-oh, final Eggman. What does that mean? That can't be good. I, like, never get that. So that's a new one on me. didn't do anything. Ah, here we go. Knuckles. That did absolutely nothing. Hmm. Pretty odd, I must say. Anyways, if you fall and you return this hall, you land in front of this area. The vault. Jump on the switch to deposit your rings. Try and deposit as many rings as you can. As you can see, Chaos Emerald is right there, and this is their idea of depositing rings, shaking them out of you. Right. Anyways, you need to get 400 in order to get to that emerald. Now, just for the sake of it, I'm going to show off the other pinball course, the Knights in the Dreams one, exactly. Card pinball corset. You see on our button new flippers. Matching cards, you uh, get to race three times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same rules, basically. But in this case, we're playing. I guess poker? Anyways, this right here is based off of another Sega Dreamcast game that. You may or may not know, Nights in the Dreams. It's made from the same people as Sonic, hence why it's here. And, well, if you want to know more about it, you would probably need to find a video. I don't own the game, I own its sequel, Nights Journey of Dreams. 
which is pretty good, I must say. One pair. As you saw, we paired up two cards that looked alike. So the idea behind this one is, well, pair everything up. I'll show you the garbage area layer date. And if you don't get anything, well, all five of your cards disappear and you go for it again. That's basically the way this one works. Now I deposited almost 300 rings in that bowl, so... I'm thinking that I should probably have enough here pretty soon, if not now. Uh, that wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Oh yeah, and you can go to this area which is full of cards. If you go down that area that shows arrows and says mayor. I don't know. And if you happen to go over here, you get this nice little thing. This does absolutely nothing, though. It's just for looks. But, hey, it's cool. And you just appear on the other side. Whatever. Two pairs. If you look, you can see what the names are of the guys, but honestly, I'm not gonna buy, especially since I don't know a lot of these people. I only know the ones from Journey of Dreams, which some of these show up. Oh, we have a kind from the Nightopian. Yep. And if you fall back down, you go through this interesting spot. Now, if you stay in here multiple times, you can get these videos like that, depending on how long you stay in the nightmare section. I think if you go through the rings, you get an idia. I'm not sure what happens if you get all five idia. What idia? Well, I'd have to explain the whole idea of Nightopia and the game and everything in order for you to really understand that one. But, I guess I can try. It's basically a place where you... I'm trying to find the right words for this. How can I put this? It's basically where you go when you're dreaming. It's a paradise of dreams. And Knights is basically a guardian of that paradise. And the Nightmares want to destroy that paradise. I know this is a very crummy explanation, but it's the best I can do. The Idia basically are what visitors, aka the Dreamers, to the world end up uh, having in their hearts. It pretty much gives them uh, the power to make Nightopia real. Without it, Nightopia will become, well, nothing. But enough about knights. Let's end this, shall we? Now, it may look like you can make that jump. You can't. Trust me, I've tried. You need 400 rings at least. There's just no other way. I've tried it. Tails, will you get out of my shot? Yeah, Gosh. not bad. Stick in your own story. Anyways, we'll stop after this cutscene.
Sprayed him with sleeping gas. Wow. Okay. Oh, man. What happened to that emerald we just had? Uh, I guess Eggman's got one of them. But the other one's safe. That guy must be desperate. That means his two to our one, and that's not good. Come on, Sonic! We need to get busy! You're right about that. Oh, who would that be? In case you're wondering, that little glimpse that we just saw is Cream. They occasionally show her in this game. No real reason why. Um, but... Yeah, we'll stop there. Next time we'll do Tail Story some more. Don't worry, we'll catch up the Knuckles here pretty soon. So, until then, this is Galaxy Wiss, out.